Warning, the film you're about to watch features copious amounts of man-ass and partial nudity. You have been warned. In the 1980s, there was a worldwide epidemic. This wasn't something you could snort, smoke, or smuggle. No, my friends. We're talking smut. And the man who made this world of sultry cinema his empire? Sam Raimi. He was on top of his game after the smash hit horror porno Evil Head, following up with the critically acclaimed and Jizzy Award nominated sequel Evil Head 2. Groovy, but also horny. Things took a turn for the worst in the next year, however, as the third in the series, Spermy of Darkness, was panned by critics and audiences worldwide for not being horny enough. It's today we catch up with Sam and see how he's moved on since his glory days. So, can you introduce yourself to the audience? Hi there, my guys, gals, and in-between pals. The name's Sam Railme, but you might know me better as, uh, the King of Cream, the Master of Moans, and, uh, many more magnificent monikers. Ah, I see you're a fan of alliteration. What's alliteration? Never mind. Uh, but you, you might recognize me from, uh, some of my films, you know, uh, The Shaw Skank Redemption, uh, Shaving Ryan's Privates and uh, Die Hard. Oh, you're in Die Hard with Bruce Willis? Oh no, not, not the Bruce Willis one. I played a Copes with a Boner. It was freaking awesome. Never mind. Okay, so let's talk about how you got started in the industry. What drew you into this world of pornography? Oh, it's not pornography. It's art, okay? You know, ever since the dawn of cinema, people have been banging on film. Like, my great granddaddy started this industry. You know, back then, it was normal to just, you know, boom, 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 do it on camera. Ask anyone who started the industry of tasteful smut, and they'll tell you it was Sir Alfred Fiskock. Today we're following Sam as he goes to meet with his agent, Seymour Cox. This is their first meeting in months after work dried up for Sam. Trust me, you're gonna love Seymour. He's a real stand-up guy. Real professional. We're dead in the water, Sam. The industry's dying. Hold on, hold on. How is smut dying? As long as there's one person out there on Earth, they're gonna wanna watch someone else bang for their entertainment. No. Smut isn't dying. It's you. Wait, hold on, I'm dead? Literally, no, but metaphorically, yes. Oh, thank God, that's a relief. Wait, hold on, that's not a relief. What, what's happening? What's killing it? One word. Dial up internet. That's four words, Seymour. No, no, it's three. Uh, actually, it's only two words. Uh, dial up's hyphenated. Oh, doesn't matter. W what even is it? See that? That little mystery box? People may not call it God or whatever. They, think they just get free sweet smut. I blame the commies. Hold on, you're telling me they're getting smut off these new damn computer things? What about the good old fashioned, you know, like VHS, Super 8? Nah, they're, they're gone the way the dinosaur and the dodo. Extinct. Kaput. Ah, Blanco gone. Bye bye. See where you're scaring me. I'm sorry, Sam. I don't know what to do. It's a new age. The time of. Good, affordable, well-made smut. It's gone. I, this might be the end for 20th Century Fox. Okay, hold on, hold on. What are these newfangled websites got to offer that I can't do? I'm an industry veteran. I got 20 years of these new up-and-coming bastards. You're not gonna like it, Sam. Hold on, I've done stuff that I'm not comfortable with, okay? I've been out my wheelhouse, I didn't like it, but I did it in the name of good old-fashioned, true and pure smut. Are we done yet, Seymour? No, that was way too fast. We're going for feature length here. Get that pasty ass back in here, boy. Jesus Christ, the things I do for art. So what is it? Feet. It's just feet? I thought that Quentin Tarantula kid had the market covered with, you know, Phil Bill and Pulp Friction. I thought he had it under control. So did I. But like I said, times are tough. It's been a good ride, Sam. But it might be time to hang up the hogs. Hang up the hogs? So, what did you do? Did you listen to Seymour? Did you hang up the hogs? Kid, if you think I'm the kind of guy to hang up my hog, you're crazier than Seymour. I don't know what to tell you. What are you going to do then? I'm going to film the sexiest smut known to mankind. I'm going to make something so emotional and hardcore, it'll blow the fuses out of everyone's goddamn modem keyboards. There's no need for the goddamn internet. I'm bringing back the... Screw this! I'm out! Sam went on to film a three-hour-long orgy scene with everyone in his Rolodex who was available to film at short notice. 
The resulting friction in the room, combined with an unknown gas leak, resulted in the grisly, yet sexy deaths of all those in attendance. Almost all the film was lost in the resulting explosion, apart from an intro sequence shot by Sam himself. We present you with the last known footage of a porn legend. Ready for one last ride?